Okay, this is, we're back to the setup. So hello everyone, welcome back to my pregnancy update. So this will be a little bit different. I have a vlog clip that I'm going to insert. So this is very interesting. Now, I am currently 37 weeks, but this pregnancy update would be 36 to 37 weeks pregnant, just because I don't think I'm gonna make it for another video next week. Um, I'll explain it later on throughout the whole video. So, without further ado, isn't that what the tutorial says? Um, let's get on to the whole shenanigans. So at 36 weeks, the baby is a, is a size of a papaya. And then by 37 weeks, which is where I am right now, is a romaine lettuce. Okay, so at 36 weeks, I have lower back ache, which is, oh my god, like, I, I have it until now. Waking up in the middle of the night due to period cramps. The, now, this was me being in early labor, um, but then I kept waking up and whatnot, and then the vlog clip that I'm going to show you guys, which I am going to explain right after this 36 week. Now, and then I am sore down there, like... I just am and feel like the baby is about to come out like the sensation is like his head is pushing down on my stomach I don't know if that's the correct term but that's exactly how I feel I can't walk or stand for too long for like 10 minutes max unless I do grocery it would take me I need a push cart basically so to keep me sane um, stretch marks i have developed three stretch marks three tiny ones oh hello child you wanna say hi to the video um he stay there okay <laughs> um and then yeah i have three stretch marks on my stomach one on my side one on my belly button and one on my left side but the one on my left side is really bad because that's where the baby is at like that's where he's chilling so just super crazy my boobs are constantly leaking at first i would wake up with like you know just wet boobs but then this time i took off my shirt and i saw stuff coming out like literally and i'm like what the hell is this i thought it was like an infection or something but apparently it's not it's just milk that's coming out i have a midwives appointment so um i had my midwives appointment last week at 36 plus one so i went there and um i was feeling very uncomfortable that day because the night well, that early morning at around like 3 a.m told you i was having those period cramps like i felt like i needed to go to the back oh go down go down go down I felt like I needed to go use the bathroom, but I really didn't. So I told her that my face was very uncomfortable, apparently. Um, she sent me to labor and delivery. She measured me. I gained 34 pounds in total because the day before I was in bed and then stood up and the whole bed was wet. So I'm like, did my water just break? Or did I just pee myself? I had no idea. So I told her that. And she's like, when, what time was this? I'm like, that this was around 3 p.m. yesterday. And she's like, oh, it's been almost, you know, a long time. <laughs> so she sent me to labor and delivery. She checked me out. They did my GBS testing as well. Um, they did an ultrasound to see the fluid, which you will see in the next clip after I'm done talking. So um, they did all that. I was just in so much pain. I thought, you know, baby's gonna come. My midwife was like, you know, they're gonna check you. They might admit you. They might not, you know, send you home or they might send you home. So just prepare for like both outcomes. And in my mind, I'm like, oh my God, are we having a baby this week at 36 weeks? But apparently they did send me home. So um, I did not break my water. I did not so whatever the hell that was i don't know i'm pretty sure i did not pee myself so whatever that was that's it
How you feel? I'm holding it like I would hold like a handheld camera. I'm just here to document the pain. You're a turn off. They'll figure it out. They can see it on your face. Excuse me. So what happened was, I think my water broke yesterday. What happened was? Sounds like a normal Monday. <laughs> Chill out. to 37 weeks right now i'm currently 37 plus three i believe what day is it no 37 plus two i am 37 plus two weeks now i don't usually upload because whenever i film i upload the same day so if you see this i uploaded i filmed this like hours ago if you know okay so 37 weeks um i have been non-stop eating sweets which is really bad plus my friends keeps giving me my friends <laughs> kept giving me chocolates and then this baby just loves boba every single day and it is so crazy i feel like he's gonna come out really chunky at this point and then my friends are giving me chocolates hot chocolates chocolate chip cookies it does not help um i feel like at this point, our goal for weight was like 25 to 35 pounds. I am 34. I am cutting it close. So, you know, hope I, I know I'm going to lose this baby weight anyways. But, you know, I'm cutting it by pounds. So, we'll see what's going to happen. Um, I'm having inconsistent labor contractions. Now, I wake up in the middle of the night. I have contractions. Um, baby would always kick me like his feet foot would you could just tell it's his foot on my left rib all the time um it was it's it's so painful whenever he moves um but since yesterday and today he hasn't been that active and my grandma told me that if he starts slowing down with his movements he's about to come out and i'm like oh my gosh i'm due january 15 but let's see at this point i don't even know anymore um, I wasn't dilated as well and effaced. I don't know, they didn't really mention being effaced, but I was not dilated when they checked me up um, last week. So, not dilated at all. Um, I have pelvic legs and hip pain all the time. Now, my left hip in specific hurts really bad. Now, I don't know what caused this but it just hurts so bad um it's just a sharp pain and then it would just go on like down there i would feel it it's like lightning crush but not really and then i would get contractions for like i don't know for like two to three hours and then i'd sleep it off and it would just disappear like this morning i woke up at 1 a.m and i was having really bad contractions like period pains i slept it off woke up at 4 a.m like nothing happened so it's very inconsistent um i don't really know at this point when he's gonna come out but we'll see a lot of my friends and family are telling me december 28 now today's 27 tomorrow is 28 mm, i'm getting really nervous <laughs> so we'll see what's gonna happen i don't know maybe he's gonna come out new year's 31st or january 1st i don't know at this point i don't really care anymore so as long as he comes out i just want him to come out at this point um i also sleep with two pillows because i can't breathe i can't move to my sides anymore again 
Um, I'm not, I don't think this is sciatica, but yeah, see his foot is right, put, it's like a, you see a round stomach and there's this huge bump on this side. That's that. Oh, your question. So most of you guys are, um, telling me, you're commenting down below and I'm just going to answer all of the questions. So, um, have you ever had anyone ask to rub or touch the bump? To feel the baby whimper kicked yes all the time all of my close friends they always touch my stomach and i honestly don't mind um and then whenever it is moving i just take their hand and i'm like touch it <laughs> because i know that they want to feel it but i'm not gonna do that if they don't want to touch it you know what i mean but then you know sometimes i get those unsolicited hand belly rubs but i don't really mind it's just like okay you know what i mean but at this point, I'm just so huge. <laughs> um, what else? How do you feel about belly touches? Like I said, I honestly don't mind. How many kids do you want? I've always wanted just two. One boy and one girl. But I think three would be my max. Like, maximum kids would be three. I want to have three kids before I turn 30. I am 24 in a couple of weeks. And... I don't know if I don't know yeah so that is basically from my update now I'll give you my belly shots all right so this is my stomach from the front and this is how it is from the side so like a big bouncy ball it's sort of pointy now I guess so yeah that is Alright, so that is all for my pregnancy update. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you hopefully next week for my 38 week. Okay. Hello, it's me again. Um, update. Um, right after I filmed it, um, I texted my midwife because baby hasn't been moving since yesterday. Not as much. And um, I call, I mean I texted her. Then five minutes later, she said, just go to labor and delivery. And so I went there. Um, we were there for a good two hours, I believe. Um, they sent us to the labor and delivery room. Usually it's in the triage. So it got me nervous, but false alarm. No, baby, <laughs> today. Um, so we'll see what's going to happen. Yeah, I don't think this baby's going to come soon. Maybe... In two days, I mean, maybe next week, January, January, baby. So that's it for the update. This is how I'm gonna. This is how I'm gonna end my vlog and uh, my vlog, my update. So yeah, mm, we'll see.